One of the strategies I like to use in training is to deliberately practice moves that are technically fouls in, in a professional fight, even though you know fighters do certain things all the time, like grab and hold and push and kind of trap their hand, and the referee doesn't necessarily penalize them. They can penalize them, but they, they can just warn them. So when you're, when you're using these little tricks, holding, pushing, you know, doing certain moves that are technically kind of illegal, uh, when you're doing them, you're doing them just enough so you can get, so you can get away with it. So you don't want to be doing anything blatant that's going to make it obvious that a referee is going to foul you. So that's the trick. How do I use all these little uh, moves, these little subtle moves that boxers use in the ring? Like, uh, say when we're, we're up against face-to-face, uh, -face, we'll push with the hands like this and push and turn and pull and spin and stuff like that. I mean, technically you're not supposed to kind of do that stuff. Um, but they do it all the time. It's kind of an unwritten rule. Yeah, you can do that as long as it's not blatant or really fouling. So if you're going to be doing those kind of things, I, my strategy is when I train fighters is to get, have them get really used to it and to practice it a lot. Now, just because you're practicing it really aggressively in training doesn't mean you're going to do that necessarily in the fight. You know how much to use it actually in the fight to, make, to use it to your advantage uh, and then how not to go overboard to where the referee is going to foul you and give you too many warnings. So that's the strategy. So that's one of the things I'm going to be teaching.